What is up guys, Mr. Merkel here, and today we're going to be drawing Spongebob Squarepants from the critically acclaimed show Spongebob Squarepants. And guys, if you guys would not mind hitting the subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. We are almost at 1,200 subscribers, only 55 subscribers away. I was quarantined from my school, so now I have more time to post videos. And on Thursday, I'm going to be building a PC for my YouTube channel so I can edit videos better and just do all sorts of stuff on it. And in case you guys could not tell, I kind of lost my voice over the last weekend. Uh, I'm not too sure how, you know, stuff happens. Anyways, let's get right into the drawing. So you're going to start out drawing SpongeBob with two circles as his eyes. So, you're, you're going to want to draw a circle right in the middle of the paper, right here, very lightly, like this. And then you're going to add another circle to the right of that. Just like that. And then on the left circle, you're going to erase a portion right here. And on the right triangle or circle, you're going to erase the bottom portion of it right there. And right on the right circle, you're going to draw his nose, which is, you know, the classic SpongeBob nose. It kind of follows along the eye, actually. And then it curves and it like forms like a teardrop shape, but it doesn't connect at the end. It doesn't connect here. It just does that. And now you guys are gonna draw his little cheek right here. You're just gonna draw a little bump right there. And then connect his eye to that bump. And now you're gonna draw his pupils in the middle of, or not in the middle of his eyes, a bit to the, for his left eye, you're gonna draw it right here and for his right eye you're going to draw it around the middle just going to draw a circle in either spot and then draw another circle inside that and the inner circle is going to be black but you guys don't have to color that quite yet I'm going to though, so you guys can see better. So right where you guys drew the bump under his left eye right there, you're gonna wanna draw another bump, this one a lot smaller and a lot less curvy right under that. This is gonna be the start of his mouth. And his mouth is going to come right over here and it's gonna start in the middle of that curve of that bump that we just, and his mouth is going to start right in the middle of that small bump that we just made. And it's going to come to the right, just like that. And then once you get right here, about uh, a little bit past the start of his nose, you're going to want to end that in a triangle and kind of curve it up to connect to his nose, just like that. And now you're going to want to draw his two buck teeth right here. You're going to want to make one right here. Two squares, one right here. And the other one right next to it, just like this. And now you're going to want to draw the underside of his mouth. Just do that by coming to the smaller bump that we made and just make a giant hill type shape like this and now you guys are going to draw his tongue just draw a bump right here and a bump right next to it right there too and you guys are basically done with his face at this point now you guys are going to get to do his outline his shape basically so i'm going to mark points where the edges are Real quick. Mm. 
this is about where the edges are for SpongeBob. He's a square. So you guys are gonna wanna draw like a very light outline, if you want to, of a square around his face. And then you can draw squiggly lines over those. So that way, it's, he's not like an actual square, he's like a sponge still, but yeah. You guys probably can't see that on the camera. You're going to want to draw curve lines connecting the two. So just draw bumpy lines like that. And then you're gonna to to do the same thing right here. You're gonna to wanna to draw that. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then the same thing right here, but this time we're gonna do it at a diagonal line a little bit. like that. And then we're going to do the same thing. Just curve it down like this. And now that you guys have gotten down the basic shape of SpongeBob, as you can tell, I kind of made some edits at the top to make him look a bit more curvy. You can now draw his little uh, circles all around his face. But before we do that, we are going to draw his pants really quick, not his whole pants, just the top of it. So you don't draw circles inside his pants. So where the curve line ends, you're gonna wanna draw a straight line to the other dot that you put right to the lower left side of his mouth. And then this side, you're gonna put it a bit curved up like that. Cause this is where his pants go up like that. So now that we have the basic shape, the basic layout, as one might say, for his pants. Sorry, my voice is cracking so much. Uh, now, you guys are gonna draw his circles all around him. We've got two right here, one's a big one, like that, one's a smaller one. We have one in the corner right here. We have one all right under his nose and another smaller one under his nose. And then over in this side over here, we have one right here by the other two. And we have another one a bit to the left and down to the, to that one that we just drew. And the other one, and then we have two more, one right here to the lower right of that one and one straight down from the one that we just drew. You guys can always draw more. I'm not opposed to the idea. Actually, I'm gonna draw two more for funsies. We're gonna draw one on the lower left of his mouth and draw another small one above that one. Now he looks more full. So, now, you guys might have noticed that you might be saying to yourself right now, hey, Mr. Merkel, his pants aren't uh, straight lines at the top, and you guys would be right. Erase those lines, but now you have the same lines as before because you can see the underline. And just make them a bit more curvy like that because he is going to be fitting inside these pants. And you want them to be nice and curved, sir. And now, right here, where this line comes through, we're going to draw a straight line down and then a diagonal line going up to the side. And that is going to connect to where this line stops. And then we are going to draw a straight line coming out like this. And then this one's gonna be coming up like that. And he's got a bit of a muffin top coming up right there, but you know and judge people off their fats, you know? Fix that a bit. And now we can draw a line that separates these two. 
the top is going to be a bit smaller than the bottom one. So just keep that in mind as you draw this line. So you're going to want to draw an upside down bump like that. And then you're going to want to erase the lines under it so you can finish his tie just by drawing a rhombus, just a line like that. A line coming down like that, another diagonal line coming up like that, and then connecting at the top like that. Now you, you guys are gonna wanna draw triangles on either side of that, like this, to finish the whole tie aesthetic. And now for his pants, we're gonna draw his belt buckle. So you guys are just gonna wanna come here like this and just make small rectangles on either side of his rhombus tie, like that. And on, on his right side, just draw one, not to the wall, I guess, uh, just draw it a little bit, draw a small one. And you don't wanna connect these, just keep them a bit away like that. And then on the other side, draw another small rectangle, about the size of that one. You don't have to be exact or anything, just estimate. About like that. And actually, I'm gonna connect these to the wall. And then this side, we're gonna put one right here. Like that. And let's start off doing his legs on the lower portion. So what you're gonna wanna do is right here and right here. You guys are gonna wanna draw the lower half of a cylinder. So draw two small lines coming down and a curved line connecting the two. And then do the same thing, a bit more space out. Like right here, like right here and just draw two curved lines connecting the two, just like that. Maybe make this one a bit larger, uh, like this. And just like that, we are almost done with his legs already, guys. And you guys are just wanna draw some straight, uh, some lines coming down there. Some uh, pegs, like uh, parallel lines. And they're gonna connect at the, uh, let's make him skinnier. He's been skipping leg day recently. He has, he's got anorexic legs. Just make him nice and skinny like that. And then make him curved at the bottom like that. Do the same thing and make him the same length on the other side. And the same width. Cause that would look weird if you had like one super ripped leg and one super skinny leg. And then you guys are gonna wanna draw three lines on each one one in the middle, one a bit lower than that one, and one a bit lower than that one. Just like that on either leg. And now you guys are gonna wanna draw shoes. So in order to do, to do this, we draw a slight curved line coming off of each one, like that. And then draw his main shoe. By doing this, you guys are gonna wanna draw a big half circle like this. And it's gonna connect down like that. Right about where it started and stopped, like that. And then we are going to draw his uh, heel on his shoe, just by drawing a triangle down, a little bit of a flat line. And now we're gonna make two more bumps. One's coming up, it's like a, uh, it's like you're about to draw a half circle, but one is coming up halfway and kind of stopping. And then you're, and then you're gonna wanna draw another half circle right here. And then repeat on the other side, just draw a giant half circle right here. That connects back, or that lines up with the, uh, with the slight curve line that we drew off of his stump stump legs and then draw a small curve line in the back and then draw his heel like this straight line coming back and then draw the last curve line like that and draw a little shine in the shoe like this 
Just a little circle, just like that. A little shine, a little shine in his shoe. He's been shining his shoes recently. And it's looking mighty fine, SpongeBob, it will say. And now you guys are gonna draw his arms. To do this, we're just gonna draw curved triangles where all the corners are like curvies, like this. I'll show you. You're gonna come up and curve it, curve the line like this. And then at the bottom, curve, curve the line. And just like that, you have invented his arm, his sleeve, and just draw his very skinny, limp arms coming up there, just like that. And now we are gonna draw his hands. We're gonna draw a slight curve line on the right side, coming off of his hand. And then on the left side, we're gonna draw another curve line, but this one's gonna come much farther down and it's not gonna go as out as the other one. And on the right one, we're gonna finish this off with a thumb and we're just gonna curve it around like that. And then we're gonna come up at a line that curves in like this. It comes to the top and then it curves in again. And then you're gonna curve down again. And then for the final one, you're gonna curve down one final time, just like that. And now you've made his hand. Might've done a bad job explaining that, I don't know. We're gonna do the same thing on this side, but on this side, we're gonna do different arm pattern. We're gonna draw his sleeve. Like this. And now we're gonna draw his arm. To draw his stick-like arms, we're just gonna draw a very thin parallel line. And it's gonna have a bit of a curvature right here. Just like that. And it's gonna kind of stem off like a tree stem. Like, you know, like a, a tree branch, where it's gonna slowly get smaller as you go. And then on the left, we're gonna draw his thumb coming in like this. And all you do for his thumb is you draw a curved line and then just keep on going, but don't connect it fully. And now we're gonna draw his other part of his hand. And it's the same thing for the thumb, just draw a curved line and then don't connect it to the line fully, just keep on going. And then you guys are gonna wanna draw his final finger or his final two fingers. One is gonna go right on top of there. It's just a curved line coming up like this. And just connect it like that. And the final finger is gonna be his pointer finger. And this one is gonna be a big finger. It's gonna be like whenever he uh, got a blister or whatever, a splinter in his thumb and like inflated or whatever. So you guys are gonna wanna draw a curved line coming up and then it's gonna look like an egg at first. But on the right side, you guys are gonna curve in to a stem point, almost looking like his nose. That looks exactly like his nose, actually. And maybe don't make it so small like I did. Maybe adjust it a bit. And so it looks a bit more long like that. And you guys may wanna make his other finger a bit longer. Uh, I made his a bit smaller, but it's fine. Cool. We are done drawing SpongeBob, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and trace him, and you guys can meet me back in a moment. After I'm done tracing him. Okay, guys, so my last video, when I was tracing it, uh, I cut out. I don't know why. I think my iCloud storage might be full. Anyways, what I was saying was uh, we are done drawing SpongeBob, and he's super easy to draw. And he's super easy to color too. I don't have the right materials to color him right now. And I don't have a lot of time right now. But, because I'm trying to work on my future video on Thursday. Because I'm going to be making a video Thursday. It's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of money to make. Because I'm building a PC, guys. It's super exciting. Anyways, uh, I will show you the color schemes right now. All you need is yellow and brown, 
that's it guys and blue for his eyes and red for his mouth so yellow blue brown and red that's all you need guys um but you guys can just pause the video on the spongebob picture uh with color and just copy the color um i, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to like the video so more people out there can see my content and I can get more followers and yeah.